dancers and parents. Welcome to another episode of Carly's Craft Corner. I am so excited because today's crafts are inspired by the story, Let's Dance by Valerie Bowling. I'm so excited to do these crafts because this story is about different dances from around the world. So our crafts are going to reflect that. Let's get started. The first craft we are going to make is a clacker so that we can make some noise while we practice our flamenco, Irish jig, or even tap dancing. The materials that you need are scissors, make sure you always ask your parents before using these, a small piece of cardboard, a plastic bottle cap, one penny. The first thing we're going to do to make our clacker is take our cardboard and bend it in half. Then we're going to take our handy dandy scissors and cut a little circle out of the cardboard starting on the fold. We're basically making a shape that's a bit like a compact. Okay, there is the base for our clacker. Now we're going to take our penny and glue it to one side right in the middle. We're going to take our plastic bottle cap and glue it to the other side. I am going to put glue on the bottom rim. And again, sticking it in the center. Okay, now we can add decoration. Okay, it's all decorated. Let's make some music. The second craft we're going to do today are sleeves so that we can do our Chinese sleeve dance. The materials that you need are one scarf if you're making this for a child, two scarves if you're doing it for an adult, and a lot of safety pins. First, we're going to take our scarf and fold it in half all the way down along the scarf. Starting at the end, I am going to place a safety pin right at the end of my sleeve. I am putting my safety pin on the opposite side of the fold. Okay, I'm going to put another safety pin about six inches down the sleeve. It doesn't matter what size safety pins you have. Any size will do. Okay, let's keep doing this. Uh, and we are going to stop at the center because we don't want to put any safety pins there, we're going to leave a little hole. center part open and this might even be a little too small so I might move my safety pins out a little bit more. We want this space big enough for the front and back of our little shrug that we are making. Okay now it is ready to be worn. You just slip one arm inside 